Okay, slight change in the way that we've got things set up today. So, um, got my LCD instead of it being on a um, stand, I've got it so you can see directly in the camera, um, which would be easier, I think. So, we're going to run through a couple of things that I bought online and basically see if they work. Um, so, the first thing I bought is a copy of X Copy. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, so we've got all the different versions, um, 3.1, 6.18. Um, so let's go with 3.1, so it's button number one. And enter. And again, we're up and running. So, you know, from that perspective, it's pretty good. Uh, Max is working. In it. So yeah, recognize the DFO D1, that's fine. Okay, that's cool. Um again we still haven't got the uh control alt, alt working on the so we've got to turn off at the means power <coughs> and leave off a bit. It's copy it works. So let's have a look at some of the other things I bought. So copy of Hero Quest. Okay, so this is the slight issue. Um, I don't have the Hero Quest manual, so that's something I'm going to have to look for online. So obviously I can't import the protection. So, yep, that's something that I messed up on, so I'll need to, to sort that one out. But, of course, the game appears to be looting. So here's the next one. So Operation Wolf. This does come with the, the manual. Doesn't seem to be a lot happening on that one. So potentially an issue with the floppy. Let's get rid of these little twisty tools that I've uh, 3D printed just to make sure that it's nice and loose. Don't seem a little bit tight. Pop them back in. Try it. Seems to have stopped. Okay, so we're taking 
turn them up again. I'm going to grab another. It doesn't seem to be. Let's have a quick. Doesn't seem to be any obvious glaring issues. I have um, also 3D printed these, uh, which got another YouTuber thought pattern. Um, <clears throat> RMCK mentioned them. So you can slide that on, pop it in so you can now see the inside of the desk using the twist tool. And then you can clean any areas if you see any degradation on them. And then, likewise, you can turn it out the other way. And again, you still twist it. Quite a nifty little tool. It does feel a bit looser, but dramatically so. So there we go. Nope, didn't seem to be doing a lot. Okay, so that's uh, another one. It's probably what I'll do is is um, create a new disk from an ADF file, uh, which we'll talk about a bit later. So, where does that take us? Oh, that takes us to this one. Desert Strike. Um, I did buy the manual separately for that one. It didn't come with it, and I knew it would come in with it. So again, got the discs. And then I bought the manual as a, as a separate entity for that one. So let's see if we get any luck with this one. So this one. Good start. Okay, it's not a good sign. Obviously that's because I've clicked the mouse button and it's come up with that. So again, I maybe need to double check that, but 
if necessary, I'll rewrite really that disc as well. Obviously, bear in mind, I mean, these, these discs are so old, so you're going to get this scenario. And it might be they need a clean. Play it by ear. Take one game at a time when it comes to looking at it through the GoTech. And the last one that I bought uh, recently is this one. Syndicate. So again, big box. Complete with all the manuals. When, but again, we don't know when it's going to run with the discs. So turn it on. Uh, that's disc two, disc four, disc three, disc one. Noisy, and the same thing with the um, Jaguar XJ220 from a It's not like that would go with a beat twice you are things. Really noisy. Yeah, this has got a read error. Uh, not surprising with the noise it's making. Perfect, Frank. So, uh, it is a bit of a watermark on it. And there is a mark, definitely. Lifted. So here, underneath my finger now, there's a definite mark. So that might be the issue with that one. But again, if you can create a, you know, a, a disc one. Using the go tech, then again, you know, the, the thought pattern is I've still got the box, etc. etc. Yeah, so we cancel that one. Okay, so not a very good success rate with the discs this time, but something for us to work on. We'll look at that. Just pop that down there. And the other thing that I bought, just a couple of things to show you. So I bought a load of supposedly 720k formatted discs. Um, I've made myself a, a cleaning disc. So it's got, um, basically you take out the magnetic unit and then you replace it with a little filter. Which you, one of a bad word, a circle in the middle, put in the spindle, and then we we'll take this one apart, just place it back inside with the spindle, um, and then it becomes a disc you can use for cleaning the drives uh, with some isopropyl alcohol on there. <coughs> um, it's on a um, YouTuber's. Um, site that I saw it and just followed their instruction. I'll put a link to, to that particular video in my in this particular um, at the bottom of this video. Okay. Um, oh, next video. I'll just go and make another video about GoTech. I think.